Okay, students. In this video, I will explain exercise 7a and 7b, the solution of a mathematics book, IB mathematics book, analysis and approaches SL2. Okay, perhaps in this video uh, will assist some students of IB curriculum. Right. Let me start from number one regarding radian and measure this exercise, exercise 7a, regarding radian measuring, how to measuring radian, how to convert uh, radians uh, into degrees, and how to co convert uh, degrees into radians. All right. Let me start with uh, number one. I'm going to answer number one until number uh, six. And after that, I will uh, continue with exercise 7B. So for several questions, I will not answer. That becomes your whole work. I'm going to skip. And I will skip. Uh, maybe I will answer. I mean, I'm going to explain how to find the solution. Okay, let's start with number one, one O. Um, I will begin with one O. Okay, this one. If we are going to convert 230 degrees into radians. How to convert 230 degrees into radians? Okay, I'm gonna Set for scale for one A uh, for sorry one O I mean one O okay uh, two hundred thirty degrees uh, if you convert to radians you have to multiply by pi over one eighty okay one eighty degrees of course so it becomes uh. Yeah, cancel zero, so it's gonna be twenty three over eighteen pi radians. Yeah. Okay. And after that, one one j. Okay. Seven twenty degrees. Uh, the procedure is same with one, one O. You have to multiply with pi over one eighty. Okay, and it's gonna be seventy two over eighteen pi radians. Okay, but uh. Yeah, we may convert becomes how much this? Uh, four. Yeah, four. I uh, sorry, one one j. We have to convert. Uh, divided by divided by eight eighteen. It means it's gonna be four. Okay. Four pi radians. Okay. What else? One e. Okay. Eh. Oh, one n. One n. N. One n. Okay. Eighty. Means times pi over one eighty. Degrees uh, cancel zero, it becomes eight over eighteen pi radians, and after that, con uh, simplify and divide by two, okay, yeah. 4 over 9 pi radians and 1 
how to sorry, and M. Okay. One M thirty-six times pi over one eighty. Uh it becomes a thirty-six over one eighty. Uh, 36 over 180 divided by 36 is going to be 1 fifth by radians. And then next, I will continue to. Okay. M after that. L. Okay. One L. Five hundred forty degrees times pi over one eighty. Uh, cancel zero. It becomes uh, fifty four. Fifty four over eighteen. I mean, I think three pi radians. Okay. K. One K. One K. Uh, three fifteen. Three hundred fifteen times pi over one hundred eighty. Uh, radians. So if you Divide it. If you if you simplify one uh, three hundred fifteen over one eighty, uh, simplify become seven over four by radians. Okay. With the same procedure, you make. Uh, you can find the solutions of others. For example, uh, for I, H, G, F, yeah. Next, I'm going to continue to number two. Okay, for number two. Okay, number two A. Now, we are going to convert at degrees to radians. Yeah. With the same, same procedure. But this is decimal numbers. Okay, 36.7 degrees should be times pi over 180, 180. And if you calculate, it becomes, uh, yeah, 36.7 times 3.14 because pi equals 3.14. Okay, so it's going to be 36.7 times 3.14, okay, over 180 uh, radians. And if you calculate on calculator, you're going to find 0 0.64. Radiance. What else? B. Okay. Uh, number two B. One hundred thirty-seven point two radians times pi over one eighty. Okay. Uh, it becomes 137.2 times 3.14 okay, over 180. And if you calculate, it's going to be 2 point, yeah, 2.39. 2.39 radians. 
uh, next number two to e this one yeah to e 396 okay e uh, 396 okay 0.7 if i'm not mistaken 0.7 degrees times pi over 180 it becomes 396 Point seven times three point one four. Okay, over one hundred eighty. And if you calculate on calculator, you can find this number six point nine two radians. Yeah. Next for number three. Convert to degrees. This is the opposite uh, of number one and number two. This num number three, we we will convert two degrees from uh, radians to degrees. Next number, I will begin with number three, J. Okay, G. number three, J. Um, wait. Pi over eight. Okay, pi over eight times one hundred eighty over pi. Okay, so it becomes cancel divided. So it's gonna be one eighty over eight. Or if you simplify, uh becomes 45 over 2 if you divide by 4. Okay. It's going to be 22.5 degrees. After that, 3 I, this one. Yeah. 3 I. Uh, 7 pi over 6. Six times one hundred eighty over pi cancel pi. So seven times one hundred eighty over six. So if divided becomes thirty. Okay. So the result two hundred ten. This and else H three H. 3H, three okay. okay. 3pi over 20 times 180 over pi, cancel pi, I cancel 0 as well. So 18 over 2 equals 9. Okay, nine times three twenty-seven degrees. Okay, pretty simple. And uh, next three G, three G pi over ten times one hundred eighty over pi. Cancel if I becomes one and zero as well. Cancel it becomes. 18 degrees. Okay, now number four. Let's continue to number four. Number four. Convert two degrees. Correct to two decimal places. Uh, number four E. Four E. Okay. 5.267. Okay. 5.267 uh, radians, okay? 
times 180 over pi. If uh, radians convert to, if, yeah, radians convert to degrees, the formula and the number should be times 180 over pi. And if uh, degrees will convert to radians, the number should be times pi over 180. Yeah, the opposite. Next, after that, uh, multiply uh, 5.5.5. 267 times 180 and divided 3.14. 67 times 180 over 3.14. So you're going to find a number, the solution 301.14. 301.93 radius uh, uh, degrees. I mean, next 4D. 4D 3.179 times 180 over 3.14 over pi. Okay. And if you calculate on calculator, you can find this number, the, so, the solution 182.24. Yeah. And after that, 4C. Okay. 4C, 0 0.867. Yeah. Or C zero point eight six seven. Uh, eight seven eight seven six or eight six seven. Wait. Oh eight six seven, I mean. Okay, it means it should be times one hundred eighty over 3.14. Okay, then if you calculate on calculator, you can find, wait, I'm going to calculate on calculator. Okay, 49. 49.7. Yeah. Okay. 49.7 is point, okay? okay? Next, number five. Match its angle measurement with the correct diagram. <laughs> okay. Uh, for number five, A, this is degrees, and B, this is radians. This is two radians, two power C. It means two radians. Okay, next for number 5A, okay, number 5A, 70 degrees, we have to uh, find which one, uh, which one angle is 70 degrees, and if you using, if you measuring, uh, that which one, which one sector, uh, with protector, uh, of course, 70 degrees is one F, yeah. So this is F, 70 degrees F, yeah, with protector. Uh, so how about B, two radians? Okay, two radians. We have to convert into deg into degrees first. Okay, two radians. Uh, yeah, two radians. It means two radians times 
180, 180 over pi. Okay. So it means two, uh, two radians times 180 and divided by 3.14. Okay. So it becomes uh, 114. Point six five. Okay. And if you measure with protector, which one? One hundred fourteen point six five. Uh, the sector is B. This one. Yeah. This is one hundred fourteen point six five. Degrees, yeah. And next, after that, pi over 2, pi over 2, it means 180 over, so 100, 180 over 2 equals 90. Okay, 90 degrees is 1, of course, D, yeah. It's 1. 90 degrees, yeah. Right angle. Now, 200, 200 uh, degrees, this one. Yeah. If you're measuring with uh, protector, this one, 200 degrees. And what else? Three radians. Three radians, we have to calculate first, convert into degrees. Three radians equals, I uh, sorry, three radians times 180 over 3.14. Hmm. Okay. A true calculator, you could, uh, you could find 171, 97 degrees. So which one? This one, E. Yeah. So it is, this angle is 171.97 degrees. Okay. What else? Hey, sorry. Uh, already 0 0.5. Okay, 0 0.5. It should be 0 0.5 radians. Uh, 0 0.5 radians. It should be 0 0.5 times 180 over 3.14. And if you calculate and calculator, uh, how much this? Okay. 28.66 degrees. Okay, which one? 28 with your protector. This one. Yeah. So how much? Uh, 28.66 degrees. Okay, that's number five. Next number. Six okay for number six. Okay, this uh, copy and complete giving answers in terms of pi. Okay, All right. Uh, firstly, this uh, zero degrees. Uh, we will convert to radians, it means zero times. Pi over 180, of course, zero. So this is zero here. Okay. Next, 45 times pi over 180. Uh, it becomes one fourth. Yeah, quarter pi. So write down here, quarter pi. And after that, 90 
It is times pi over 180, of course. Uh, we found half pi, so write down here half pi. And after that, 135. 135 times pi over 180. And calculator. Okay. Three. Three fourth pi. Yeah. So this is three fourth pi. And if 180, of, of course, is, is pi. If 225 times pi over 80, 180, I mean, yeah, it's going to be 5 over 4 pi. So this is 5 over 4. After that, 270 times pi over 180. Okay, cancel zero. Okay, it becomes three half pi. So three half pi with the same procedure are 315 degrees equals seven over four pi and it is 2 pi okay next for how about b b zero yeah still zero here and 30 f 30 times pi over 180 okay it becomes 1 6 pi so 1 6 pi here so how about 60? 60 times pi over 180 it becomes one third pi. Okay. So one third pi here. Uh, 90, of course, half pi. Okay. 120, two thirds. Pi 150 equals 5 over 6. 5 over 6. Pi, of course, this is pi. 110. 7 over 6. Just now we calculate already. 240. Uh, 4 third. Pi. 270. 3 eight. Okay, take pi, 305 third pi, okay, and then 330, 330 or oh, 11, 11 over 6, yeah, 11 over 6 pi, and this is 2 pi, okay, that's for number 6. Okay, number uh, 7A already, exercise 7A already. If you have any question, you may ask me through email. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe this video. And I'm going to continue to exercise 7B. Okay. If you have any questions, you may ask me through this email, handicapacademy21 at gmail.com. Right. I'll continue to, name, uh, to exercise 7B, okay, regarding arc, length, and sector area. Mm -hmm. All right, number one, uh, we're gonna find one, one C, okay, one C, okay, one C, the question is, okay, the radius 6.2 meters, while the angle is 2 pi, uh, 
two uh, two pi over three radians. Okay, power c it means radians. Okay, that means uh one c one c okay one c uh two pi over three times six point two. Okay. Equals twelve point nine seven eight. Yeah. And if and it becomes if we round rounding this number, it's gonna be thirteen. Okay. Yeah. Thirteen centimeters. Okay. And what else? One B. Okay, one B. Yeah. Yeah, the formula is uh arc length. It was pi times radius. So one B you should find the angle four radians and three centimeters. So on B, arc length equals arc length equals four radians times three centimeters. It becomes twelve centimeters. And one A arc length equals one. I think we've taken just now one yeah, one degrees and seven. It's gonna be one times seven centimeters. Seven centimeters. The arc length. This one, the arc length, this one, yeah. This one, this, uh, the seven centimeter of arc length, this one. Okay. So it's one twelve. It's one twelve. Yeah. As long as this uh, arc length. Yeah. And as, as well, this the arc length. Different with arc area. Yeah. Uh, sector like this. Yeah. Okay. Next number two, find the area of its sector. Okay. Two A. Okay, I'm gonna start with two A. Um two A. Area formula is half times theta r squared theta or angle. Theta is angle. Okay. So it becomes half times how much theta? Three. Yeah, three radians. Yeah. Uh, so the angle of, uh, should be in radians. Okay. So half times three radians times r two centimeters squared. So it becomes three over two times three over two times r times two. Yeah. It becomes six because uh, yeah, it's four, sorry. Three half times four divided two it becomes six centimeters squared. Next B. Yeah. Should be let me look the angle and 
radius 1.5 and egg okay 1.5 and 8. Okay. So area. Yeah. 1.5 times 8. Plus. Mm, Three over four times sixty four. Mm. Yeah, equals divided this sixteen. Yeah, forty eight. Okay, centimeter squared. Okay, you see. See. Uh, pi over 6 and 5.6 pi over 6 and pi over 6 so it means uh, area yeah theta r squared half Pi over six times five point six squared. Then if you calculate this is three point one four. If you calculate we can find the solution with calculator eight point two one. Eight point two one centimeter squared. Okay. Number three, find the arc length and area of a sector of a circle oh, with radius nine centimeters and angle seven PO4. Oh, yep, yep. Okay, ah, oh, it's enough this space. Okay. Number three, this is three A. Okay. 3A, radius 9, angle 7P over 4. Okay. The radius 9 and the angle or theta. Seven over four. Like this. Let me check once more. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have to find arc length first for the arc length. Uh, the formula is pi times r. So it becomes. Uh, Seven or four pi okay times nine equals if pi is three point one four if it true calculator forty nine point five centimeters that arc length. So how about area arc area or sector? Area half times pi r squared. Okay. So this arc length formula and this one, the area, arc area formula. So it becomes half times 7 over pi. Uh, seven, 7 over 4, I mean 7 over 4. Pi times 81 because 9, uh, 9 squared. So if calculate through calculator, 
wait calculator I'll calculate 222 222.55 centimeter squared okay next for db radius 4.93 and angle 4.67 radians, okay. 3B. 3B. Okay, for arc length. Okay, uh, just now the theta is 4.5. Nine three, and then for radius four point six seven radians. Okay, so arc length equals theta times r. So it's gonna be four point nine three times. 4.67 so it becomes 23.02 centimeters yeah. so how about area area Arc area equals half times Theta times R squared. Okay. So it becomes half times four point nine three times four point six seven squared. Okay. Calculator. Okay, the area is 53, 53.76. Okay, next we continue to number, we will continue to number four, find in radians, the angle of a sector of radius four, Point three meters and arc length two point nine five meters. So okay, so it means theta equals L over R. Why? Because you know, uh, arc length or L equals theta times R. So it means if Theta, the subject, its formula becomes L over R. So how about if R the subject? If R the subject, uh, R equals L over theta, like that. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to find 4A. So it means it becomes 2.95 meters over 4.3 meters. And it becomes 0 0.75 radians. Okay. Next area. Radius. Okay. 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 The angle of a sector, yeah. Already, next after that, four B. Yeah, this four A. Four B. Theta equals. Uh, yeah, two times. Area, 
this is the formula, two times area equals R squared. Yeah. Yeah, because R area formula is half times theta times R squared. So if, uh, if you want to find theta, if theta is subject, it means two times area over R squared. Yeah. So the calculation becomes two times 30 over uh, 10 squared. It becomes 0 0.6 radians. Okay, next number. Okay, let's continue number five. Find theta in radians for each of the following and hence find the area of each figure, right? Uh, we should find theta first, and after that, uh, we're going to find area. Okay, area, theta first, and then radians. Right. I'm going to use this space, this one, number five. Okay, 5A. Uh, as you know that the formula of arc length L equals um, theta times R, so it means theta equals L over R. Yeah. So it means theta or equals arc length over R. So arc length equals how much? Let me check on the figure. Oh, 6 over 8. So it means theta equals 6 over 8. Okay. 6 over 8. And 6 over 8 equals 0 0.75. Radians. Okay. And area equals... Yeah, area equals half pi r squared. Half times 0 0.75 times a squared, because radius is a. And if we calculate with calculator, uh, 24 centimeters squared yeah that's for number 5a and next number 5b 5b uh yeah as well theta equals length over radius how much length 8.4 and radius 5 8.4 over 5. Okay, the radius. So 8.4 over 5 equals 1 over 6, 8. Radians and area equals half times theta times r squared. It's going to be half times. 1.68 times uh, 25 because 5 squared. And now with calculator, 21, 21 centimeters squared. And one or oh, 8 centimeters. Uh, we have to find this angle. Yeah. We have to find this angle first. Yeah. Because theta this angle, but we have to calculate, we have to find this angle first. Okay. So 5C. Yeah.
Oke. Okay. Here. You have to find uh, this circumference of circle. To pi uh, squared. Okay. Equals two times three point one four times eight squared. Yeah, it becomes fifty point two four centimeters. Ah, oh, sorry, not not two pi two pi r. No need. There's no square. Okay. Okay, do that, and after that, uh, find the arc length. Find the arc length, uh, 50 point two four minus how much just now? 31.7. Okay. Uh, what for we're going to find this angle first? Okay. We're going to find theta first. Okay. 31.7 equals 18.54 centimeters. It means the angle theta, theta equals uh, 84, uh, 18, sorry, 18.54 over uh, 8, okay, yeah. equals, okay, mm -hmm. Two point three two centimeters. Yeah, uh, eight is radius. Yeah, and then this theta. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell this as the second theta. This is the second theta. The second theta. The second theta. Okay, the second that is the second theta that angle. That means the second theta. The second theta equals thirty one point seven. Uh, thirty one point seven over eight becomes. If you divide it, it's going to be 3.96 radians. Okay, so it means uh, area. The area, the sector, this one, the area, this area, I mean, yeah, this area. Hmm. Yeah, the area equals yeah half pi squared pi is three point nine six times r is eight so eight squared uh, with calculator. Wait, yeah, 126.72 centimeters square. Yeah. Next, number six. Do we have space? Oh. Okay, number six. A sector has an angle of 1.88 radians. And arc length of 5.92 meters find its radius 
and find its area. Okay. But I'm going to clean first this space. Okay. Because I'm going to use this space, uh, there is no extra space for this. Okay. All right. Now, number six. We're going to answer number six. We're going to find the solution, number six. Okay, number six. Okay. All right. Uh, for the arc length, it was five times R. Okay. Or R equals L over theta, right? So it means R equals length how much? Uh, 5.92 over 1.88. And radius okay, uh, equals 3.15, okay. Meters, of course. Okay, and next we are going to find the area, this radius. This is 6A and 6B for the area equals half times theta R squared, half times theta equals 1.88. Radians and times 3.15 square. This one, the other radius. So with calculator 9.32 meter square. Yeah. Already next, number seven, seven A. Okay. Number seven, I'm going to still using this space. So I will clean first. Okay. Okay. Number seven. Yep, seven A. Okay. Yeah. Area is half times theta r squared. It means r. If r the subject, this formula yeah, becomes 2 times square root times area. Over theta. Okay, and it becomes third two times twenty point eight over one point yeah. Okay. 1.19, okay. I'm gonna clean first this, okay. Right. And with calculator, it's going to be 5.91 centimeters. And next, find the perimeter. Okay, that's 
for uh for radius so radius equals uh five point nine one okay. centimeters but we have to find the angle for this angle okay uh we will convert from radians to degrees. So 1.19 times 180 over pi. And it becomes equals 68.22 degrees. After that, uh, arc length arc length equal theta times r uh, 1.19 times 5.91 okay comes 7.03 yeah, centimeters. So perimeter, so the perimeter. The perimeter equals seven point zero three plus five point nine one plus five point nine one equals 18.85 centimeters, yeah? Okay. Next number are this. What did we just know this? Okay. okay I'm going to move to number Eight or eight. The end wall of a building has the shape illustrated where the center of arc AB is at C. Find A. Alpha in radians to four significant figures. B. Theta in radians to four significant figures. C. The area of the wall. Okay. I'm going to use this space for number eight. Okay. Okay. For uh, number eight. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm going to use tangent. This one. Yeah, for alpha because why tangent? Because uh if tangent alpha meaning this side over this side. Okay. Yeah. If this is if this is O, for example, so o, uh, OB over C O, that is Tangent, tangent theta, a tangent alpha, because we are going to find how much alpha. Okay, so tangent alpha equals uh, 5 over 15. Yeah, uh, 30 over 2. Uh, 30 divided by 2 equals 15. And that is 15, 5 over 15 equals 0 0.33, so on. Okay. And it means alpha equals in calculator. If we find on calculator that alpha uh, is arc tangent or tangent power negative one of five over 15. So alpha equals 
18.43. Okay. That is how far. Now, after that, uh, we go, we are going to convert from degrees to radians. So, 18.43 times theta over 180. And if you calculate, it becomes 0 0.3216 radians. Okay. And then, yeah, that is alpha. Alpha in radians, 0 0.3216. Okay. This one. We already answered this. Okay, next B, we are going to find theta in radians. So four significant figures. Okay. Right. Uh, theta equals uh, 180 minus 2 times uh eighteen point four three degrees. Why two times because wait yeah now look this if this is alpha it means this one alpha as well okay so one strike line is one hundred eighty so uh, theta equals 180 minus 2 alpha. Okay. So it means 180 minus 2 times 18.40 degrees. With calculator, we find the solution, the result, 143.5. Point one four degrees, and then afterwards convert to radians. So theta equals one hundred forty three point one four times pi over one hundred eighty, and we got the conversion two point four nine seven zero radians uh, that is theta in radians now we're going to find area right area of the wall okay right area of the wall or uh, we should find Okay, this sector I'm gonna I'm going to divide uh, to calculate area of this sector first. Okay, calculate the area of this sector after that. Uh, area of this triangle and area of this triangle. Okay, right. And amount of that area equals the area of this wall, right? And next, uh, area sector or arc area, right? Arc area equals half times theta times r squared. Half times, uh, as you know, that theta equals just the amount. Theta, how much? Oh, this one, theta. Yeah. Theta equals, uh, yeah, this, theta equals 2.497. This one, theta. Sorry. Yeah, two times. 
497. Okay. Times R. Uh, uh, we should find R first. Okay. Okay. Uh, wait. Okay. Which one R? This one, I mean. Yeah. So we are going to use Pythagoras to find R. Okay, R equals, wait, R equals search five squared plus 13 squared. Okay, equals uh, 15, I mean, not 15, 15. It's in, this is 15, wait. Is fifteen or search uh, twenty five plus two hundred twenty five equals search uh two hundred fifty. With calculator we got fifteen point eight. And this is R, 15.8. Okay, 15.8, it means times here 15, when it, or, yeah, search 250, better this one. Okay. And then with calculator, We find the result 312.125 meter squared. Okay, next. That's uh, arc area after that. Triangle area. The triangle area. Okay, the triangle area equals two times because there are uh, two triangle. Yeah, two times half times uh, 15, the base times five. The height equals 75, okay? Because two, two, 75 meters squared. So the area, the wall area or total area, wall area was uh, 75 meters squared plus uh, this one, 312.125 meters squared. So it was Okay, with calculator 387.13 meter squared. Okay. Right, already number on uh, number eight. This one already. Uh, next, we'll move to number nine. Number nine, wait. I'm gonna clean first. Okay. Right. Next, number nine. In the given figure, the perimeter of sector OAB is 12 plus 2 pi centimeters. 
find theta b hence state the length of the chord okay chord a b okay this chord chord a b right mm. it means perimeter o a b The perimeter O uh, OAB uh, equals OA plus uh, AB, okay, plus OB, yeah, plus OB. As you know, that OA, same with uh, OB, right? So it means OA equals six plus uh, AB plus six, right? And based on this information, it becomes 12 plus equals, yeah, 12 plus two pi. So it means a B equals twelve plus two pi minus six minus six. So A B equals two pi. Right. Next. What else? Uh we're gonna find theta. So A B equals wait. Yep. Yep. A B equals theta times R because arc length this A B. Okay. Yeah. Equals to pi. Okay, so theta theta equals to pi over six. Okay, equals one third pi. If convert to Convert to degrees, it becomes one third times one hundred eighty over pi, and it is sixty. Yeah, sixty degrees. Right. So AB equal uh, the theta. The angle equals sixty. I'm gonna show you. This theta equals 60. So find theta, how much theta? Theta 60. Now, we're going to find AB. This this one AB, this AB, this strike line. Okay. Mm -hmm. To find the strike line AB, uh, I'm going to create, uh, this is A, sorry. And we are going to create a triangle. Okay, right angle, triangle, and this is O, this is A, A, okay, and for example, this is C, okay, uh, and if theta is 60, it means this is 30, because half of this triangle, okay, so it means uh, we're going to find AC, how much AC? If we found AC, uh, we can find AB. So how to find AC? As you know, but uh, that this is six uh, centimeters, okay. And sine, I'm going to using sine thirty. Sine thirty equals AC over 
on AO or cross AC over six. So AC equals six times sine 30. Sine 30, uh, after the sine, the, sine 30, how much? Sine 30, after that, uh, times 6. Yeah. Sine 30, how much? Sine 30 is half, 0 0.5. Okay. So 6 times 0 0.5 equals 3. So AC equals 3 centimeters. So about AB. AB, or court AB, equals 3 centimeters times 2. And it is 6 centimeters. Yeah. Okay, number 8 and 9 already. Next number 10. The cone is made from this sector, made from this sector. Find correct to three significant figures. The slant length S centimeters, uh, the value of R, and this R, the arc length of the sector, D, the sector of theta in radians, theta in radians. Okay. I'm going to use this space. Okay. Number 10. For number 10, 10A, uh, let me see the question. Okay, we have to find S first. Uh, if, if 12, if this is 12, the length 12, it means the half of this base, yeah, the radius is six. Yeah. That is so we can calculate S through the Pythagoras, Pythagoras rules. So search 10 squared plus 6 squared. So S equals 10 squared plus 6 squared. 100 plus 136, okay, 11.66 centimeters, of course. Yeah, that is S, yeah, A already. So S, S how much? S, 11.66 centimeters. Now B, the value of R, we're going to find this. Okay. Uh, R of course R of course R equals S. Yeah. So R equals S equals eleven point six six Y. Because this R actually this part S. Okay, if you look uh, carefully that uh, R actually equals S. Yeah. So how much R? R equals one uh eleven point six six. Right. Uh, eleven point six six as well. Okay. Now the arc length of the sector. Okay. We're gonna calculate this arc length equals two pi r. Okay, arc length of the sector equals 2 pi r. One is in the space, not 10a, but 10c. Okay, okay arc length equals 2 times pi times r plus 2 times 3.14 times 6. 
and with calculator, with calculator you find the number, uh, the result, thirty-seven point six eight centimeters. Okay, next D. So the arc length equals this one, thirty-seven point six eight. the arc length of the sector, okay. This one, the arc length, this one, yeah, the arc length. Yeah, length of this arc sector, okay. And the sector angle in radians, okay. We will convert to radians. Okay, that arc length equals pi times r or theta, uh, sorry, theta times r. So theta equals arc length over r. Okay, arc length this one 37.68. And R equals 11.66. So equals 3.23 radians. Yeah. That is theta. Okay, what else already? Now, let me move to number 11. AT is a tangent to the given circle. OA is 13 centimeters and the circle has a radius 5 centimeters. Oh, oh so this is 5. Okay. 5 centimeters. Okay. And OA, this is 13. Okay. Find the perimeter of the shaded region. So we have to calculate how long this and then how long this and this one as well. Okay. Right. Now, AT first. AT. AT equals, you want to find AT first, AT equals search uh, 13 squared minus 5 squared. Okay. One sixty nine minus twenty five was as well this one forty four twelve yeah so eighty equals twelve this is twelve oh. right I'm gonna find uh from this this point okay AT already, and if this point U, for example, U. Okay. We are going to find UT how much and UA how much. Okay. AT already itself. We'll move to this space. Okay, for number 11. And now, Okay, and we can, this one, if this one, angle A, okay, 
we're gonna find this angle, right? After that, we're gonna find uh this angle, yeah. Angle O, so angle A, sine, sine A equals five over Yeah, five over thirteen equals. Uh, sorry, we're gonna find arc sine or sine power negative one. Thin twenty two point six two. Okay, yeah. So this angle is. 22.62. It means angle O. This is A. Angle A. This is A. So angle O equals uh, 180 minus 90. Because this is 90. This is 90. Okay. Minus twenty two point six two. Yeah. Equals uh sixty seven. Sixty seven point three eight. This. Okay. Now sixty seven point eight T. We're going to convert to radians. So sixty seven point eight point three eight times pi over one hundred eighty plus one point one seven five radians. Okay. Okay, after that. <laughs> We move to the space. Okay. Uh, now we are going to find this one. Okay. Okay. This is T. This is U, and this is A. Okay, arc length this one. Because arc length this one, arc length this one. I'm gonna show you. Ah, uh, wait. Duplicate this. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to calculate this arc length uh, with uh, using this angle to so find arc length this ut. Okay, so I'm going to calculate this arc length ut. Okay, with with o is angle o is one point one seven five radians. Okay, arc length equals Theta times R. So, theta how much? Just now, 1.175. Okay. Times 5, the radians. 5 is 1, the radians. This, uh, this is 5, uh, this radians, because of this. Okay. And our claim or UT equals five point eight seven. Yeah. Eight seven five. Okay. Next. After that, yeah, uh, UT already. 
Next, we are going to calculate UA. Okay. UA, how much? This one, UA. Look this figure. Okay. If uh, if OA, sorry. If OA thirteen. If OA thirteen. Okay. If this is thirteen. And OU is five. It means UA uh, thirteen minus five. Okay. Thirteen minus five equals eight. UA equals thirteen. Minus five equals eight centimeters. Okay. Just now, TA already, we calculate already 12 centimeters. Okay, so the perimeter, the perimeter. Mm, perimeter equals, wait. The perimeter equals 5.875 plus 8 plus 12 equals 25.9 centimeters. Yeah. Next, number 12. Okay. Number 12, yep. A nautical mile is the distance on the Earth's surface. The substance an angle of one minute or one over 60 of a degree of the great circle arc measured from the center of the Earth. A knot is a speed of one nautical mile per hour, given that the radius of the Earth is 6,370 kilometers, so that one NMI is approximately 1.853 kilometers. Calculate how long it would take a plane to fly 2,001 30 kilometers from Perth to Adelaide if the plane can fly at 480 knots. Okay. Right. Let's start with uh, A. Here's yeah, so 12A. The theta, theta equals uh, 1 over 60. Degrees, so it was one over sixty. We will convert to radians. Okay, pi over one eighty, and it becomes twenty seven over uh, twenty two. Sorry, twenty two over seven. Twenty two over seven over. Uh, yeah, calculate sixty times one hundred eighty. Okay. Okay, 10,800, right? And after that one, it means one NMI equals uh, 22 over seven over one uh, 10,800 times uh, 6,370 km. So it becomes uh, 6,370 6, uh, because uh, this one, yeah. The earth radius. And it's going to be, if you calculate with calculator, becomes 1 point Eight five 
37 kilometers. Ya. Yeah. Oke. Okay. B. Uh, 1.853 kilometers equals 1 NMI. Okay. It means 2,130 kilometers. Yeah. The flight equals 1 NMI uh, times 2,130 kilometers over 1.8537 kilometers. Okay, so it becomes it equals 1,149 point. Uh, Four eight seven NMI. Okay, so it means one knot, one knot equals uh, if equals one if one knot is a uh, one knot equals one NMI over uh, over hour per hour. So four. 180 knot because for uh, 80 NMI per hour okay so it means the time you can determine the time time equals Mm. One thousand one hundred forty nine point four eight seven NMI over uh, four hundred eighty NMI per hour. And it's going to be 2.39 hour if you calculate. Okay. So it is 2 plus uh, 0 0.39 hour. So it's going to be 2 hour. Plus twenty three point four minutes. Hmm. Yeah, this is the solution. Yeah. Next, okay, number thirteen. A ship is tethered. To a post which is six meters from a long fence. The length of the rope is nine meters. Find the area which the ship can fit on. Right. Uh, if I will draw the situation the on the ship like this, this is the circle. Okay. And this is the post, okay, six centimeters from here. Hmm. This and this is the area of the ship can reach, okay, uh, because the length of uh, the rope is six meters, okay. So this area is area of uh, this ship. Right, and yeah, there is a fence, uh, the, this fence here, okay. Okay, six meters, uh, sorry, well, like that fence here, 
Ingolat. Okay. This. I'm gonna draw the fence first. Okay, the strike line. And I mean this is okay. Six meters, I mean this one. And this is the radius. Okay. Wait. I have to, I have to draw with a big circle. Okay. Ah, wait. Okay. The center and this is the fence. Okay. This is six meters and this is the radius. Okay. If uh this is alpha, okay. This angle is alpha. Okay, so uh, the radius is nine, nine meters. It uh, after that we calculate uh, to Pythagoras to the Pythagoras we can find. Uh, this one is yeah, nine uh shirts. Okay, I'm going to calculate that first. Nine squared minus six squared eighty one minus thirty six. No. That equals five and then four. Forty-five. Okay. Three search five. Okay. That means this is three search five. All right. Uh area of the uh, the circle. Area of circle equals pi r squared. So it becomes uh, 27 times 81 because r equals 9. So the area equals 254.57. Okay, the square. Uh, and then sine alpha equals three so it's five over nine okay this alpha I mean this angle okay so it means alpha equals sine power negative one of three so it's five over nine and we got the angle 48.2. Okay, this for alpha. It means for the total angle, or I will give name two alpha because two times 48.2 equals uh, uh, 96. 96.38. 38.4. Yeah. 
And after that, we're going to find, we're going to calculate the area. Okay. Area of this arc. Yeah, this arc. Uh, arc with angle 90, 96.38. So the arc area, the arc area equals 96.38 degrees over. 360 okay times 254.57 uh, okay because the uh, area equals uh, 68.15 meters squared yeah next uh i'm going to calculate the triangle area So the triangle area, this triangle, this triangle, okay. This triangle area triangle area equals half times six. Yeah, six. This one is six times uh six third five. Okay. And then equals 18 says so 5 meter square okay so if uh that's for one for one for one triangle if two tri uh, if total yeah so the total uh this one is is would be times two and it becomes 40.25 meter squared like that and segment area the segment area equals us uh arc area minus Triangle area equals 68.15. Okay. Uh, arc area, this one, yeah, this one, the arc area uh, minus. Minus forty two point uh, forty point two five. Okay. And you're gonna find this solution twenty seven point twenty seven point eight four. Yeah. As well for the art area, I'm gonna give additional or another way to find uh arc area. I'm gonna start with two al two alpha, just now two alpha, uh this two alpha, okay. That's uh I say two alpha uh the main angle two alpha is Sixty-nine point two eight. When I mean three eight, yeah. If you convert to this degrees, if convert to radians, becomes sixty-nine point three eight times pi over one eighty. And it is one point six eight one three radians. So it means R area equals half times pi times R squared 
Alpha times uh, two alpha times R square. Hmm. And it's going to be half times two alpha is this one, one point one point six eight one three radians times nine squared or eighty one. And it becomes sixty eight point zero nine three meters squared. And after that, you may calculate, you may found the segment area. Uh, arc area, it means 68. Uh, 68. So the segment area equals segment. This is another way to find the segment area. Uh, it means uh, 68.093 minus uh, 40. Point two five. Okay, and I'm going to find three after that nine or uh, nine minus five four and then ten minus two eight and seven after that two. Yeah, twenty seven point eight four three meters good yeah okay what else no, number nine the semicircles touch each other within a quarter circle as shown p q and r are collinear the radius of the quarter circle is 12 centimeters find the radius of the smaller semicircle Calculate the area of A and area of B. Right. Uh, firstly, I'm going to find uh, the angle of this angle of this one, the B. Okay. Very things with black. Okay. Right. I'm going to find this angle, angle P. Okay. And based on this information, uh, the radius of the quarter circle is 12 centimeters. So it means this is 6. And as well, this is 6. OK. Uh, 6. OK. If that is 6. Wait. Okay, if this is six, yeah, it means uh, this is two. Okay, yeah, two and two as well, right? So now, uh, I'm gonna find uh, angle P. How to find angle P? Angle P, uh, with sine rule, so sine. P equals an angle P equals eight over yeah, uh, eight over how much this we have to find with Pythagoras first so six squared plus eight squared uh, squared one hundred that means ten yeah this is ten. Okay, yes. Okay, 10. So it means uh, 8 over 10. So it is 0 0.8. And it means angle P equals sine arc sine or sine power negative 1 of 8 over 10 uh, equals 53.13 degrees. And after that, we will convert into radians. So 53.13 times pi over 180. 
and it becomes 0 0.93. Yeah. Radians. Okay. Okay. And after that, I'm going to find uh, area. Okay. Area of this. Area of this. Uh, this arc. Okay. Yeah, area of this arc, what I'm going to clean first. Okay. Okay. Area of, of that arc with angle 0 point, uh, 0 0.9, uh, 0 0.93 radians. Right. It means arc of P T P Q T P Q T area equals half times theta times R squared. Okay. And it becomes a half times uh zero point nine three K okay, times six squared comes okay it is sixteen point six eight centimeters square right and of that area this one is already and after this area after that okay I'm going to calculate. Area of RSQ. Okay. We have to find uh, angle. This angle first. Okay. Uh, Angle R with sine as well, sine sine R and sine R equals six over ten or zero point six. So it means angle R equal sine or negative one of zero point six. It's gonna be thirty-six. Point eight seven degrees. So next, we will convert to radians. Angle R convert to radians. It becomes thirty six point eight seven times pi over eight uh, pi over one eighty. I mean, it becomes zero point. Six four radians. Okay. Already so it means area R SQ is half times theta times R squared. So it was half times theta. 0 0.64 times 4 squared, 16. And if with calculator, we found the number 5.15 centimeter squared. And then area of after that, it's already then area of this triangle. Okay. I'm gonna clean first. Area of triangle PTR. Okay. 
triangle PTR. Area equals a half times eight and six. So four times six, 24 centimeters squared. And then now area A. Okay, I'm gonna separate this space first. Okay, area A equals a 24 centimeters squared minus 16.68 uh, minus for that. 5.15 centimeters squared. So look that I'm going to find the area. Okay, for this, uh, this area, okay, area triangle, triangle PTR minus this area and minus this area as well. Okay. Yeah. And then a uh, bit calculator. Uh, we calculate that area A is 2.17 centimeter squared. Okay. After that, uh, B. Uh, we're going to find angle T. Yeah. Angle T, uh, I will clean first. Angle T is right angle, so 90 degrees. It means if you convert to uh, radians, okay, 90 degrees, convert to radians times pi over 180. Plus this is two, so three point one four over two one point five seven radians. Okay. So area quarter circle. Okay. Area for a circle equals half times theta squared times 1.57 times the radius is 12 squared. So if we uh, calculate 113.5. Centimeter square. Okay. Next, area degree of semicircle. It's one area degree of semicircle. Yeah. This one, this area. Mm. I mean, uh, this degree of semicircle. You're going to calculate this area. Okay. Uh, the greater semicircle, the greater semicircle, half times pi r squared, and it becomes half times 
22 over 7 times 6 squared because the radius is 6. So with calculator, you got a number uh, 56. 56.57 centimeter squared. Next. Next, uh, the smaller semicircle. Okay. Mm. The small semicircle. Half times 22 over 7. Um, look the radius, how much? Uh, this radius is... Yeah, the radius is 4. The radius. Okay, because it is 2 plus 2 equals 4. Okay, it is 4. Okay. Times 4 here. Squared. Uh, the calculator. The calculator 24. Yeah. 24.14, uh, 25.14. Okay, it means uh, after that area B, yeah, area B is how we calculate area B. Okay, area B equals this. So area B equals area of this quarter circle, okay. Minus this uh, greater semicircle, minus this smaller semicircle, and minus A. That's the area B. So area B equals um, area uh, for a circle, area for a circle, how much? For a circle, it's 11 point, uh, sorry, one 100, 113.04 ma minus uh, greater semicircle, this one, 56.57. Minus small semicircle. This is smaller semicircle, actually. 25.14 minus area A. Which one area A? This one area A. 2 point, area A 2.17. 2.17. Okay. And we calculate with calculator. And this is 29.16 centimeter squared. Yeah. Okay, students, done. Yeah. Uh, 7A. Exercise 7a and exercise 7b. Complete. If you have any questions, you may email me through this email. Okay. Hendrik.academy21 at gmail.com. Don't forget to comment, share this video, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you.